Shifting our attention to the PGA Tour, TPC Twin Cities hosting the fourth playing of the tour's annual stop in Minnesota. It's the 3M Open. Our reporter on site this week is Kira K. Dixon joining us from the 3M Open. Uh, Kira, what's the reaction uh, from the players on site regarding this Henrik Stenson news? Well, news that Henrik Stenson will no longer captain Team Europe for the Ryder Cup has certainly made its way onto the range here at the 3M Open. There are several Ryder Cuppers in the field here this week, including Stuart Sink, five-time Ryder Cupper, and Tony Finau, the highest-ranked player in the field. I spoke with them earlier today for their reactions to the news. Yeah, you know, you hear some some rumblings before the the news that something like that could transpire. And now that it's official, um, you know, whoever is named the next captain, you know, for me, in my position, I, I just want to be a part of that, you know, part of that Ryder Cup and a part of that American team. Um, shakes things up a little bit for the um, again for the golfing world, but um, to each his own and. Um, and wishing the best for, for whatever his future holds. Yeah. I know you say it shakes things up, but how do you think that kind of changes the ethos and the feeling around this Ryder Cup? Yeah, it changes it in that, uh, you know, there was a decision made. I think he probably knew the repercussions, um, unfortunately, uh, and, and that's the, the route that he wanted to go. But, um, again, for me, you know, it's I, I love playing those team events. I love being involved in them. And, um, and for me, I, I look forward to hopefully being a part of that team uh, on the American side. Well, as someone who's never been offered the opportunity to captain a team, I uh, can't imagine being offered that and saying no <laughs> to it. I just, it really throws me for a loop. Um, I've played with Henrik lots of times, and we're friends, and uh, I've played against him in the Ryder Cup, and I know how passionate he is about it. So, uh, I guess the uh, opportunity to make a lot of money and go play in another tour is uh, a little bit better deal than captaining the Ryder Cup for Europe for him. And I think that says an awful lot about where Henrik's heart lies. And, um, you know, who knows, there might be some stuff lying behind the scenes that we don't know about. But um, I played with Henrik recently at Scottish Open, as a matter of fact. And, um, you know, I'd, I'm surprised that, that anybody would step down from their role as captain in the Ryder Cup. But... Um, we're seeing a lot of sort of new precedents being set in the world of golf, and today's uh, no exception. How do you think this will change the, the ethos of this Ryder Cup and the feeling around it? Well, it's already been changed. I don't know if this really changes that much about it. Um, it as it stands now, it looks like the guys that are playing on the new tour won't be playing in the Ryder Cup. And so that's already changed the ethos of the Ryder Cup this time around. And um, the the person who's captaining really... It doesn't make that much of a difference on the course. The the players that are there and aren't there makes a big difference on the course. So um, it's already changed. Henrik going uh, doesn't really change the – it doesn't change the Ryder Cup, which is coming up. It changes the way I think about the Ryder Cup looking back. And and so how do you think about it looking back? Well, I just always felt like that the European guys, they, they um, thrived on their togetherness and their passion for the Ryder Cup. And now we've got a lot of players who have decided to go elsewhere and basically turn down the Ryder Cup to play, and it just makes me wonder how truthful they were being about it. So, um, and they played great. You know, when I, I played in five Ryder Cups, and they played fabulous during that time. They were on that heater. When I, I only won one out of five, <laughs> and they played fabulous. So, um, a lot of what they attributed to for their success was the togetherness the Europeans had, and how they travel together, and how they stay in the same hotels, and they just love the Ryder Cup. Well. Um, it just makes me kind of wonder now, you know, looking back, uh, there might have been something else that they were, you know, that was driving them besides their passion for the Ryder Cup because if, if it was that way, then they would still be playing European DP Tour, DP World Tour Golf, PGA Tour Golf, and qualifying for the Ryder Cup. Jay, Jay Monahan, the commissioner of the PGA Tour, is on site here this week at the 3M Open, and the PGA Tour said that he has two main action items. One is to spend time with the CEO of 3M, and two is to make himself available to players to make sure to give live updates and to give players the opportunity to ask him any questions that they might have. Uh, he said that it is pri his priority to make himself available to any player that wants to speak with him. Kira K. Dixon in Blaine, Minnesota, with reacts from a couple of United States Ryder Cup veterans. Now, this statement 
from the now former European Ryder Cup captain Henrik Stenson on joining Live Golf. After much consideration, I have decided to join several of my fellow professionals and play in the Live Invitational Series starting at Bedminster in a week or so's time. As many of you will have already seen, unfortunately, my decision to play in Live events has triggered Ryder Cup Europe to communicate that it is not possible for me to continue in my role as Ryder Cup captain. This despite me making specific arrangements with Live Golf, who have been supportive of my role as captain to ensure I could fulfill the obligations of captaincy. While I disagree with this decision, for now, it is a decision I have to accept. I have huge respect and admiration for the Ryder Cup and those individuals behind it who I know are doing their utmost to act in the best interest of the historic events.